The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. There's Declan and Frederick and Bernadette and Jarvis. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job! And thank you to my friends who are turning their work in so I can call your name in my song. Good job. All right, we're talking all about rules this week. So last time we met yesterday, we talked about school rules and we talked about house rules. Does anybody remember some of the rules that we said we might have in our school? Good job, those were good ones, right? We said we have to keep our school clean. We said we have to pick up or we have to play safely. We said we have to be nice to each other. We need to be kind. And we said we have to listen to our teachers. Good job. Where else did we say we have to have rules? Hmm. Where else do we have to have rules? Yeah, we have to have rules at our house. We have rules lots of places, right? Do we have rules when we drive our car? Mm -hmm. We have to stop at red lights. We have to drive on the right side of the road. We have to wear our seat belt. Good job. We have to wear our seat belt so we stay safe. Those are rules for the car. Everywhere we go, we have to have rules. So I showed you some house rules yesterday. We talked about how we have rules at our house. And your rules at your house might be different, and that's okay. Everybody's house has different rules. But what I want you to do today is I want you and a grown-up to try to draw and maybe write some rules for your house and hang it up so that everybody knows what the rules are. Because it's hard to follow a rule if you don't know what the rule is. But that way, if it's hanging up and you see the picture and you see, oh, I can't throw fits in this house. That'll help you remember not to throw a fit and maybe to use your words and ask for help. Yeah, so it's good to have the rules hanging up so everybody knows what the rules in your house are. Good job. All right, we're gonna read a book today about families since we're talking about rules and houses and how everybody's house has different rules, we're gonna read a book about families today. And I want you to notice in my book how all the families are different, but all the families have lots of love and they all like to do all kinds of things together. So be thinking about what's different and be thinking about what's the same with the families in the story today. We're gonna to play a game after we read today. Good job. The title is A World of Families. Good job, does anybody remember what this part of the book was called? We talked about it the other day. The front is called the what? That's right, the cover, the cover. And a world of families is the title. That's right, the title. Hmm, Trish Holland, she is the, she wrote it. She's the author. Good job, Trish Holland is the author. Let's read about families. Do any of these families look like your family? Let's look at that one and that one. They might look like your family. If one of these families don't look like your family, 
Let's see what the other families in the book look like and see if there's one that looks like yours. A world of families. There's another kind of family. And another one. Hmm. I am noticing that all these families look very different. Let's keep reading and see if we keep noticing that. Good readers notice things when they read. Families around the world come in all sizes and combinations. How many people are in this family? Can you count with me? One, two, three. Good job. Let's do it again in Espanol. Uno, dos, tres. Bueno. Good job. Even though they look different, different families or families like and do many of the same things. Let's check out some of these families. I see four quattro people in that picture. That one has quattro too. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres. Quattro. But look at this family. That family is much bigger. There's more people in that family. Smaller, bigger. The people in families eat together. Hmm, look at the food on their tables. Let's look at that one. And then look at that one. And then look at that one. Are they all eating the same food? No, you're right. Their food is different. And they're eating in different ways too. I'm noticing that these friends are eating with their fingers. But I notice that this family, they're using silverware. So everybody eats a little differently, but they're all eating together. They play sports and games together. What sport is this family playing? That's right, basketball. See his basketball? And what sport is this family playing? The big rope. Do you know what that's called? That's right, tug of war. That's kind of silly. It looks like it's one, two, three, four people all against one daddy. That's kind of silly. Ooh, and what game are they playing? Do you know what that's called? That is my little boy's favorite game. It's called chess. That's a fun game. They go places together. Mm, they're all going to different places. They're walking through a big field and they have some animals with them. They have donkeys. And look at the baby riding on their donkey. Yeah. And then where are they at? Do you know what that is? Yeah, that looks like an airport to me. It looks like they might be getting ready to go on a trip because they have suitcases. I think they're getting ready to go on a trip on an airplane. And where did they go? Yeah, they went on a bike ride. Have you ever been on a bike ride with your family before? That's a fun thing to do. Some families even work together. So he's helping his mom and I think they're crushing grain or they might be making butter. They're doing some kind of a job together. And there, it looks like they're farmers that have cows and so they're working on a ranch together, trying to get the cow where he needs to go. And they're helping their dad by holding the ladder so he doesn't fall. And maybe he's putting in a new window. He's measuring, see his measuring tape? 
We're all working hard. Families sing, dance, and make music together. They are playing the guitar. That's right. Some of my friends knew what that was, guitar. And they are playing the piano. Good job. And what is that instrument? That's right. That's called the drums. They read stories to each other and tell each other stories. Just like we're doing right now, we're reading a story. She's telling a story. And they're reading a story. It looks like they're at the library because there's lots of books. And they look like they're at home in a bed and they're reading a book too. They carry on family traditions. So maybe in their family, they learn how to cook together. Maybe they're making some kind of bread or tortilla or maybe even a cookie or a pie. And they're working together. Are they learning how to put on a horse's saddle? They celebrate family events. Does your family ever have special parties or things to celebrate like birthdays, special holidays, even sometimes weddings and other big parties? That's so much fun. When holidays come, families gather with grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. On those days, families make special memories. What is your favorite holiday? Ooh, I like that holiday. That is a fun one. The people in families around the world love and care for each other, just as the people in your family love and care for you. Can you tell that that mommy loves that little girl? And that little girl loves that mommy. Good job, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, we are gonna play another listening game today, just like we did yesterday. Yesterday we played Simon Says, right? And in Simon Says, you had to listen to hear if I said Simon Says. Today we're gonna play a game called Jack in the Box. So you need lots of space again, so find a spot where you can move around. Good job. All right, in Jack in the Box, I need you to crouch down on the floor in a little ball, just like this, okay? And I need you to listen for me to whistle. If you hear me whistle, you're gonna pop up off the floor. Can you do that? Good job. All right, are you ready to play my game? If you don't hear me whistle, don't pop up, even if you hear another sound. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Will you pop up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Listen now and you will know. Do you stay or do you go? That's right, don't pop up. I didn't whistle. One, two, three, four. Will you pop up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Will you stay or will you go? Listen now and you will know. That's right. We're not going yet. One, two, three, four. Should you pop up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Should you stay or should you go? Listen hard and you will know. Good job! Did you pop up? Good job! 
One, two, let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Will you pop up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Should you stay or should you go? Listen hard and you will know. Grrr. That wasn't the sound, was it? One, two, three, four. Should you pop up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Should you stay or should you go? Listen hard and you will know. Good job, we did it. Was that a fun game? You can play that game more today with somebody at home. Have them pick a fun sound. And if you hear the fun sound, then you get to pop. And if you don't, then you have to stay in your box, just like a jack in the box. Good job, boys and girls. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.